My grandmother could read English, and so she would read me all kinds of material. And the、um, other thing is, she would take me when I was very small, take me to take care of the sheep and tend the sheep, and she would take along. <laughs> The nanny, 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 the I was able to say that 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 I was able And her grandmother, and on back through the generation, it always carries on through the、uh, the mother. And then, of course, you have the clan that you are born for, and so that is the way that the kinship is determined. But、uh, to me, one of the very main people is the grandmother, and they call the grandmother Shemasan, which would be saying my old mother. Would be the the way that they would say it, but also it is very important to know that son, the word son, means that they have approached old age, and so they have a lot of wisdom, and that is where the grandmother becomes very special. A masan is the one that has aged and has gained a lot of wisdom, and so it is usually the grandmother that teaches you how to. Take care of the、uh, the sheep or the livestock, and she's generally the one that、uh, teaches you about the、uh, old traditional teachings. In many cases,、uh, when you're either a, a little girl or a little boy, and that's where the learning starts. And so the、uh, grandmother plays a very significant role in the、uh, training and the teaching of the、uh, the children. And so I was very fortunate to to have a bunch of grandmothers, and I'll explain that the kinship, the way that there are kinship is、uh, set up in relationships, is that my real grandmother, the woman that gave birth to my mother, died in childbirth long before I came along. My mother was probably maybe ten or eleven years old when she lost her mother, and、uh, when she was giving birth to one of my uncles. Who did not survive very long after he was born, but、uh, my grandfather, which would be my mother's father, had actually no place after his wife passed away, and so basically he packed up and went back to his family. And it wasn't that he was、uh, just removed; he just did not fit without the wife, and so. When my real grandmother passed away, I had a whole bunch of grandmothers, and so those that became my grandmother and recognized as my grandmother were the sisters of my real grandmother, and so I had probably about six or seven different grandmothers, and to this day, of course, I recognize them all as the、uh, the grandmothers I had. But there was one main grandmother. Her name was Ella, and、uh, she had gone to school for、uh, a couple of years, and so she knew how to speak English and how to write and read. And、uh, when I was growing up, my mother and father used to be migrant workers, and so they were gone. So they left me with my grandmother quite often, and、uh, she would read to me, and that was very important at an early age. That my grandmother could read English, and so she would read me all kinds of material. And the、uh, other thing is, she would take me when I was very small, take me to take care of the sheep and tend the sheep. And she would take along a 
a bunch of her uh, wool. And she would either be carting the wool while she was taking care of the sheep, and I would, we would sit in the shade, and sometimes I would go to sleep on her lap, and she would be spinning the wool and that that she would be using to make rugs or to weave rugs. But uh, I spent a lot of time with my, my grandma Ella. And so the, the early training I got as a, uh, as a child, much of it came from my grandmother Ella. And the uh, other thing is that because they were a lot older than my parents, we had a situation to where all of the people that would associate with them were older people. And that's how I had the very wonderful experience of being with the old people. And that's how I was able to participate in so many different ceremonies and that. And uh, they encouraged me to, to learn as much as I could about the traditional teachings and the ways of our Dene. And so the things that we share with you here at the uh, Navajo Traditional Teaching, a lot of it comes from my grandparents and the, the women that I called my grandmothers and my grandfathers. And the, um, the way that I was raised was very unique. I think uh, when it was time for most kids to go to school, my grandma Ella wouldn't let me go to school for two years. And it was because I was very good at taking care of the, the sheep and to thinking for the sheep. And I was told that a long time ago that the Dene, the when they first acquired the domesticated sheep, they uh, had an arrangement with the uh, sheep that they would be taken care of by competent people. And the sheep in turn would take care of the Dene and the people that uh, would think for them. So the pepa ahuelia, that's where the word comes from. And so it was that uh, you do the thinking for the livestock. And so the teachings of uh, that nature was something that I acquired from my grandmother. And so even to this day, when I have a certain clanship or kinship that has to be established, with somebody that is female, that is of the Bitterwater clan, Torichini. And uh, th that woman happens to be older than me and other types of, of uh, clan relationship that they are a part of. Many times I can refer to them as Shema or Shema San. But in most cases at my age now, I just call them, you know, Shema. Or sometimes I would call them Shalda, which means my sister. And so, the kinship of our Dene is very important to us, and as I said, one of the very most important people in the lives of Dene is the grandmother, Amasan, and that is the word that my old mother, who is very wise in her old age. And so these are the things that we learn and we are told are very important to understand and to pass the teachings on. So those are the things that we are told. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. Okay. <laughs>